his teammates not fighting Artem Lobov because Michael Johnson yeah, fighting Michael Johnson. Just not fight for Artem. Mm-hmm. Fun fight though, either way. Um, so we know that's not happening. Now we haven't found out that they've, they've stuck by the cutting. You know, if if the UFC, you, you can't let you know the inmates run the asylum. So I don't know what you do here because you know, with a lot of guys, when I say a lot, I'm going to say. 99.9999% of fighters in the UFC. When you have a problem with the UFC, especially if you're at a world championship level or you're a big name in the sport and you have an issue, they'll call you behind the scenes and they're going to figure something out to make sure it's worth your time. Whether it's money, a main event, something, a, a new sponsor, there's something they're going to do to make sure you pipe down. With Khabib, there's not an amount, I don't think, that they could call him with and try to go, all right, listen, we're going to cut him, but we're going to give you this amount of money. You're just dealing with a guy who does not care about fame, does not care about money. So it, for the first time, you know, there's a lot of guys who call the UFC bluff. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to do this if you don't do this. And it's never worked out. Uh, look at the, the, the Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier. Obviously, in hindsight, it's a good thing they didn't because Nate Dustin pulled out. Such a fucking bummer. We'll get to that. But with him pulling out, but remember when Nate and Dustin tried forcing the UFC's hand for a 165-pound division? That makes all the sense in the world. But when you let the inmates try to force you to do something, you know the, 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 you, you go down a weird road. So the UFC, even though it probably wouldn't good for business at the time, in hindsight, it's like, nope, not happening, man. Yeah, that would be good not happening, though. So with Khabib, I, I don't know what you do. It's a, it's a tough situation. X marks the spot right there, Mike. See, Brendan just stated facts that are undeniable when it comes to dealing with Khabib. You can't buy this guy. You can't buy him the way you buy Conor McGregor. You can't buy him the way you buy Floyd Mayweather. There is no price tag for his morals. You see, I don't think that this kind of relationship with the UFC is going to last Khabib very long. And I think he's willing to leave. I really do, man. Just how he's treating them. He's finally get. He's finally at a point in his life, in his career, where he can really show us what he thinks about the UFC. Let's not forget, guys. This organization does very little for fighters when it comes to promoting them. When it comes to just giving them direction, my guy. How many times have they set up fights and then cancel the fight simply because the date was wrong or whatever wasn't right? In that process of setting up fights and canceling them, who do you think is affected more? Them or the fighters? The fighters, very clearly. Why? This is their livelihood, my guy. You just saw the whole Johanna Young Jacek and um, Valentina Chevchenko situation, which is yet to be cleared. You know, they've done this to Khabib for years. Let's not forget the fact that they stripped Tony Ferguson of his interim title simply because he slipped and fell. It was an accident, you know, a random act of God, if you would like. Um, But it wasn't his fault, and they took his belt away. Never mind that um, DC... They're taking his light heavyweight belt away from him simply because they're junkies coming back to fight. At every single junction that the UFC has had to prove themselves to be of the fighters, to be part of that team, they've chosen to, to screw the fighters over. So to see Khabib behave like this, I think it's karma, man. I think it's karma come back to the UFC. I think it's karma... I think it's karma with a little bit of a vinyl stick, you know, it's a little, it's deserving, it's deserving in my opinion, let's hear a little more from Brennan. The UFC swallows that pill of letting these guys dictate who they're going to cut, what what they're going to do, geesh man, you go down a weird road, super weird road, because then... You know, Khabib did jump out of the ring and the, the whole plan of action and and them kind of premeditating this attack on Connor and stuff like that. There has to be consequences for that. There, there has to be consequences for Connor throwing the dog. There has to be consequences all the way around. So you can't just go, okay, 
Khabib's going to bounce. We can't do anything. Let's not do that. You can't do that if, the, if you're the UFC. How do you feel about it? F- yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, my f- I'm going to fight you. You know what's the real fight and what's the real money fight is me, not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real f- right here. Hey, and I'm not. Unfortunately, you can't talk like that on Fox.